So the King George VI and Queen Elizabeth Diamond Stakes is next then. This is one of the big flat races of the season. Uh, it's a mile and a half, Group 1 of course. A pretty big looking field. Top one is Foghorn Miss for Derek Hinton. Ballet Dancer for Martin Lidham. Bruce Morgan, Derek Hinton. Sky Blue Knights, Darren Thompson. Jupiter Django. Mockalith Seaview, Doug Warren. Pines in Purple, Molly at Surfer. Stonehenge, Paul Rhodes. Sweet Harmony, Joshua Sutherland. Tango Alpha Town King. Anne of Troy for Paul Rhodes. Budgie Smuggler for Django. End of Now for John Morgan. Miss Barons for Molly at Surfer. And Miss Hazard, or Miss Hazard, for Alex Cherry. So 15 of them then. And should be a good race this one, it usually is. One or two tilted at windmills of course, but should be still be a good race and away they go. And who's going to be the first to show? Looks like Sky Blue Knights may be disputing the lead. The Paul Rhodes horses are both wide on the track, Stonehenge and Anne of Troy. The one that's just struggling to go the pace at the moment at the back is Bruce Morgan, although the other great ballet dancer. He's dropping back a little bit and he's just about the back marker now then. So Stonehenge has gone into a clear lead now of about four lengths to end of now. He's just about showed in second, but they're all pretty tightly packed. With the exception of that leader, Stonehenge, who takes them on by about three lengths. So Stonehenge it is then. Sky Blue Knights looks to have settled down in second. Budgie Smugglers moved through into third. Looking towards the back, the two greys are still at the back there. Ballet Dancer and Bruce Morgan. Wide on the trap, Miss Hazard. But it's Stonehenge who still shows the way. And one or two of these have been caught a little bit wide. Quite got across to the fence, I'm sure. Paul Rhodes will be a bit disappointed that Anna Troy hasn't got a better position. Ballet Dancer who was on the rail has now switched to the outside, so not sure what the jockey's doing on that one. But it's Stonehenge in the lead then. Sky Blue Knights is second. Tango Alpha on the inside is next then. Mockalift Sea View. End of now. And have Troy Budgie Smuggler. They're still very tightly packed with the exception of the leader and the back marker. And Stonehenge is the leader and Bruce Morgan is the back marker. And there looks to be something to miss with that one as it's losing its place and dropping tamely away. So Stonehenge in the lead then by about two to Sky Blue Knights in second. Then End of now is third. And Jupiter Tango Alpha. And have Troy and Budgie Smuggler. Foghorn misses next. Towards the back, Miss Barons has dropped out now as well. Stonehenge continues to show the way home then with four furlongs to go and leads by about three lengths to Sky Blue Knights in second, end of now and Jupiter, then Tango Alpha, Mockalift Seaview running a big race, then Sweet Harmony and have Troy, Budgie Smugglers next, then Pines in Purple, Foghorn Miss, Miss Hazard, Miss Barons, and Ballet Dancers dropped out of it, Bruce Morgan is miles behind the rest of them, but Stonehenge then with just a little more than two furlongs to go, no, not seen another horse yet really, this one took it up early on and has not been challenged once yet, and is still four lengths clear of the field, it's Stonehenge by four lengths and looks to be pulling away from Sky Blue Knights racing to the final furlong Stonehenge this is a pretty impressive performance Stonehenge for Sky Blue Knights nothing's getting out of the pattern nothing's going to get anywhere near this one and Stonehenge has absolutely stoned this field and Stonehenge has walked it Stonehenge the winner Sky Blue Knights second Tango Alpha Bridges Mugrana Troy then Jupiter whether that was a top class race or not I don't know but well, Stonehenge, Paul Rhodes takes the King George by three and a half lengths and won it in a canter, really. Sky Blue Knights for Darren Thompson, second. Tango Alpha, Tam King, third. Budgie Smuggler for Django, fourth. And Paul Rhodes took fifth as well with Anne of Troy.